Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Emma. In this video, I will give you an introduction to email forensics. Exchanging numerous emails is part of our daily routine. We use emails to communicate at work and with friends. Cyber criminals also utilize emails to scam users and to send malicious file attachments to unsuspecting targets. Emails are often a common vector used in carrying out massive cyber attacks. It is important for a digital forensic professional to know how email forensics can be performed. There are two main categories of artifacts when it comes to email forensics. One is mailbox artifacts, and the other is email artifacts. I will tell you about both. Let's start with mailbox artifacts. A mailbox refers to the storage assigned to an email address. Mailboxes store logs about recent activity like mailbox access time, device from which the mailbox was accessed, and IP address from which it was accessed. Enterprise email providers store a detailed activity log for each mailbox, having information about all the emails that were received, sent, and deleted. Mailboxes have a feature to forward emails to another email address, referred to as forwarding rules. Cyber attackers sometimes misuse this feature to forward emails to an address of their choosing. During an investigation, it is important to recover and analyze mailbox forwarding rules. The mailbox also contains all the emails that were sent, received, and deleted recently. You can use mailbox filters to display emails from a particular sender, or those sent to a particular receiver, or emails having a specific keyword in its contents. Email artifacts refers to all the crucial evidence that can be recovered from a single email. The most important artifact is the email header. For emails in the inbox, the header contains information about the IP address from which the email originated, timestamp at which the email was sent, route taken by the email to reach the mailbox, etc. The email body refers to the actual contents of an email. This artifact has importance relevant to the investigation. Email attachments refer to any media, like images, documents, or files sent along with an email. In phishing attacks, a person is targeted with a malicious email attachment. During an investigation, all attachments must be processed carefully. The email header has additional information about attached files. I hope you have a good idea now about the crucial artifacts that can be recovered by email forensics. Providers like Google, Yahoo, and ProtonMail offer their services for personal use. Providers also offer services like Google Workspace, Microsoft Outlook, Yahoo Business, Zoho Mail, etc. for business use. Regardless of the service provider and type of email service in use, that is, personal or enterprise, the artifacts that can be recovered by email forensics remain the same. We have another video on our channel where we demonstrate how email forensics can be performed on a mailbox created for personal use. You will find the link to it in the description box below. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!